uh, Eddie Guerrero, not Eddie Guerrero, not Chris um, um, uh, Malenko. Mm -hmm. He says, Jack, whatever you do while you're here, do not say anything to Vince unless he says something to you. And I said, why? He said, because you just don't do it. I said, okay, he's with my head now. So I saw Vince coming up the hall. I was going down the hall. And I said, uh, uh, I said, I'm New Jack. How are you? And he said, I'm Vince McMahon. Uh, Junior, fine. Nice to meet you. I said, same here. Nice to meet you. I said, thanks for letting me come up, you know, and show my stuff. A few minutes later, I was getting ready to get dressed. I went out there and looked at the lineup board, lineup sheet. It's like a big board. They're going to write the stuff on mm -hmm. who what match what. My name had been wiped off. I said, okay. Who was the agent that night? John, uh, uh, La Laurinaitis. yeah, him. And I, I didn't know, I didn't know what was going on. So I was like, John, why, what happened? And then he says, well, um, I, I don't know. They just, we changed things around. He said, Jack, uh, somebody heard you going over your match and they got worried that you would take away from the beginning of the show. So we just decided we might use you at a later date. I said, okay, I, I said, I'll only do what you, I said, whatever you ask me not to do, I won't do it. Okay. And I guess he said, well, and I said, and it's not live TV, so it ain't like anything you got to worry about cutting, you know what I mean, or editing or whatever. He said, well, just give me a second, let me see. And he came back, he says, we'll be in touch with you. You think it's because you talked to Vince? I didn't say anything to anybody else. I had no idea. And I went and they, got, they gave me my money. And me and um, the MVP guy, what's his name? He was MVP. Banks. Yeah. He was trying to get a job with him then. So we sitting there, I guess this gorilla in that room, watching TV. Yeah. Right before you go to the yeah. Head, to the oh, Bruce Pritchard uh, would have been Pritchard. The gorilla, the gorilla, the gorilla position. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So we're sitting there, and everybody's watching the, the monitor, the TV, the monitor. And I said, "Are y'all working?" And they was like, "No." But the rule is, you have to stay until the show's over. I said, and it was a seafood bar right across the street. So me and Antonio walked over there. And he was like, Jack, man, I've been, man, I've been staying in shape, man. These crackers won't look at me. They won't give me a shot, man. I just want a job, man. That's all I want. I just want a job. I said, well, bro, stick around, play the game. You might get one. And lo and behold, a few years later, they made him MVP. Is he one of these guys maybe we were just talking about? Uh, I, I, I don't know. He might be. I don't know. Because he was so off that night but he still wanted a job you know what I mean and I mean I mean it's a job you know what I mean all it is is a job but it's just the way that, that, that a lot of these guys will lower themselves so low to get that job you know the ass that they will kiss to get that job you know what I'm saying yes sir thank you sir well I'll be over here sir and I used to start tap dancing sometimes I'll come in the locker room and just start dun -dun 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 -dun. Meh -meh. You know what I mean? I said because I said I said I said, I said all y'all need to do is paint your lips white. I said because that's what you look like. I said you look like some some Amos and Andy act. I said it's ridiculous. D were they afraid of what? You tell me. Your your past knowing these other incidents, hearing about drug use maybe. Uh, the prison stint, uh, or, or just, I mean, clear, okay, clearly okay. you were treated differently okay. up front then. Somebody emailed me, sent me a sheet, a rap sheet of all of the wrestlers 
for one time. Not all of them. Of the crimes they committed? Lot, yeah, that they've been the mug shots. Oh, okay. And I'm surprised. I was surprised that I, I wasn't on that. I was offended. I'm like, well, damn, they got this pub, and I didn't even. I ain't, I said they ain't even put me on the rap on on the. You know, was he in the game? We just did the mugshot game with somebody. With no, he. We don't have it. You know what I mean? We could put you in the next. Yeah. Game. So and I mean, even I didn't even get included in that, and that came out. And I was like, well, damn. I said they could have put me on the the damn rap sheet. It was something negative. Booker T was sitting there smiling like a, like, you know what I mean? And, 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 Wait, but you know what? You're more angry than he is. Huh? You're more angry than he is, maybe. I'm not angry. Were you seen as an angry guy? Yeah. But you're not an angry guy. No. Were, were you an angry guy? 1998. Was, here we are. I right? was. I was probably on coke and very intensified. I don't call it anger. I call it I was intensified, you know. And and I was just like Paulie knew. Paulie knew. He said, "I got this nigga. He, he he's a draw." You know. If you if you had a chance to play the game a little bit, would you have? Nope. Even if I could tell you the story ends with you, I don't know, main eventing WrestleMania next year. That meant nothing. Uh, it, I, 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 I could make that same amount of money selling drugs if I wanted to. And you know what? I would be there less in less time and make that amount of money if I wanted to. You know what I mean? And see, you, see, you would equate having a kiss, having to become the Uncle Tom, spiritually, to the same thing as selling drugs. Yeah. You know? And, and and I mean one of the one of the things that happened when I had a meeting with WWE whatever they wanted my name. They wanted the ownership to my name and the likeness the likelessness of my name mm -hmm. character, and I said no, I'm not gonna do that. I said New Jack is mine. I said New Jack goes to the grave with me. I said because there is a life after wrestling. Some of y'all don't know about. And I said, when you sitting up on the hill in that big ass house and you making all this money right now and you're not thinking about what's going to be in 10 years and you ain't never done the indie circuit, <laughs> I said, you will see what it's going to be like. You will experience something that you've never experienced before. Did the majority of the guys sign their names away? They gave it up like a fag in prison. They gave it up. Here it is, bend over and just take it right up. And there you go, you can have it. Thank you, and we'll thank them. After just sitting there taking it up the butt, thank you. <laughs> Did you smart any of them up? Uh-uh, I was like, y'all niggas is crazy. See, I mean, dude, I, st I started doing stand-up comedy and when you go on Wikipedia or Google New Jack, you come up with a list of stuff. But you go and go, and you go and Google or Wikipedia Jerome Young, you go back. It, it, it takes you back to New Jack, right? Because Jerome Young ain't worth two cent in the entertaining industry. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. But New Jack, of course, I come with a ton of stories behind me. But I, I'm I'm worth something 